today's for February two two thousand twenty one. So for here, dinners. I don't want any one to unmute and talk here now. Will you obey me? Will you obey me? I'm asking one question. No, buddy should unmute and talk in between. Once we start our session, no buddy is supposed to unmute and talk. If you want anything, put it in the chat box. We are then and then um, just watching the chat box. Okay. Yes, I'm getting answers. Very good. So four here denotes today's date. Two here denotes second month of the year. That is February. We are in February month. Two thousand twenty. Date is four two two thousand twenty one. And today is Thursday. The uh, Thursday. So today's date is four two two thousand twenty one, and today is Thursday. Yes. Let's move on to today's session. Before that, I just want to ask you. Today, see, we are going to see one interesting topic today. Yes, I put it in the chat box. If you are unmute, telling me. I will not consider your answer. Come on, can you guess what is the topic that we are going to see today? That is very interesting topic, and you will be enjoying like anything. So, if your friends are not in this class, kindly call them and ask to join immediately, because it is will be like that much enjoying today. You will be enjoying like anything today. Yes, I will ask you. Question us. I ask you to guess what will be the topic today. Most enjoyable topic. Can you guess what it is? Nobody is answering. Come on. Whether you are taking time to type. Fun activities. Next. Don't know, ma'am. Okay. Next, next, next. Till I get the answer, uh, I will be waiting. Come on. Character education. Okay. Next. <coughs> Story. Oh, just be very good. Next. Poem. Janavika. Okay. I told it's very interesting topic. You will be enjoying like anything nature story story. So I think if we say story, you will be enjoying, right? <laughs> drawing, yes. Almost I got it by Ranganathan. It is almost related to drawing. Interacting session, Janavika Superb. Yes. What is that club? Abhinav Sai. What does it mean? Clay modeling. <laughs> Rayan, lesson number thirteen. Okay, art class. Yes, it is almost like art class. Yes, Mahavidya is also almost near to it. Okay, I'm very tired. I think let me start our session now. Yes, because uh, since I got almost the answers near to the. Thing. I am just moving now. Yes, today we are going to see computer science. That is, yes, a penny. Krish, if you want to play, because for playing you are getting this uh, fitness classes and all, right? And the next week it will be like uh, cubs and bulbuls class. In that you are going to play, sing, dance, everything. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, no problem. So just one moment. So today we are going to see computer science lesson, and in that lesson we are going to 
to see the new toxin number 7 tuck paint at paint so in this lesson we are going to learn about starting with tux paint how to start with tux paint parts of tux paint and tools in tux paint what are the tools we can use in that so actually tux paint is a drawing software which is specially designed for kids normally you will be having ms paint right in your uh, uh, laptop or uh, desktop computer but this tux paint is a little different and you are having many more options in this many more tools in this which you will be enjoying like uh, which where you will be where you will be enjoying okay so this uh, tux paint helps you uh, uh, every step you can create a many and more drawing you can show your creativity on that so let's see what it is so before getting started to that you can go to google but not now after the class you can go to google and what you can do is you can just type like t u x tux paint and download that software only in desktop computer or in laptop so it is it will not come in mobile if you want you can try okay so how to start with that after you download okay sahitya kindly mute your audio kanna okay how to start with that tux paint uh, after downloading okay so the first step is to download that tux paint from the google uh and you have to start like this so you can go to the start button just one moment i didn't share my content i think you can see my screen now yeah my voice is okay Yes, ma'am. Your voice is audible, and we can see yes, the screen also. Yes, ma'am. Your voice is audible, and we can see the screen also. Okay. Okay, but it's yeah, yeah. Got it. Okay, children. So, how to start with this? See, you can go to the left bottom that button that that is the start button. You can go and see for the tux paint, or you can go here. to that next one that white space is there right you can go there and if you type t u x a s e a i n t tux paint you will get this screen it will take few seconds for you to open you getting this one? yes yes so you will get a screen like this uh this white space in the middle center part we have one white space right so that is called work space where you are going to work on this main software okay so with your left side can you see one thing ma who is this what do you want kanna this is for work space Yes, what do you want, Kanna? Tamil way, then kindly mute yourself, Kanna. Children, everything first. You listen later. You can download this software and you can practice it home. Now, kindly listen. Don't interrupt. It is not in your book now. Please don't check all those things. Listen to ma'am what she say. Okay? Yeah. So, ah, uh, this is the workspace. In the middle center part we have one white space right that is called workspace where we are going to draw color paint and everything okay see then this here left side we have toolbar toolbar we have many buttons there so uh, many tools are there where we are going to take the tools and apply to this workspace now let's see this right side right side we have brushes different kinds of brushes we have so in ms paint in normal paint you have only few 
options. Here we have many more options. Okay. So now I scribbled. What I am going to do is I am going to take eraser button. Can you see my cursor here? Eraser button. I am going to click that eraser button and I am going to erase this since I scribbled. Yes. See I am erasing. Yes. Yes. See here uh, in the right side you can see different sizes of eraser. Can you see my cursor over there? Here. See you have different sizes of eraser. Yes. So thank you. Now let's uh, move on to the first button paint. So if you take it you can draw lines like this. If you want a thicker brush. See here. Come to right side. And here you have a uh, Sizes of brushes, right? So I am going to take the fourth one. See here, fourth one. Yes, like this. Now I am going to change the color. Sorry, I forgot to tell you about the color. See in the bottom, we have colors bar. Yes, you can choose any color you want. Now I am going to take uh, the next. Size of brush. Hope you all are listening to that sound. Is yes. is it enjoyable? Hope you all are enjoying music. Yes, very good. Yes. Yes. Now let's move on to the next tool. Next brush. Yes. That is arrow mark. We have. Here. If you click once, if you click once, you will get like this. If you are uh, dragging, okay, getting like this. Okay. Now let's move on to the next uh, shape. That is triangle. If you click over like this, once if you click. Will come like this. If you drag, it will come like this. If you can drag the mouse, it will come like this. Nice. Now, next one is the circle. The rectangle shape. Yes. What do this, ma'am? Yes. So you can make a design. If you want to drag it. By dragging the mouse. Who is that unmuting? Moshita. Hmm? Moshita. Moshita, kindly listen. Only you are going to do that now. Yes. Again, at last, we will tell you how to go to this, how to download this, everything. We will give instruction. Now just listen. That's fine. Yes. So we have finished this, and now we are going to the next. Yes. If you drag it, I'm like this. Sorry, just a moment. Sorry, stop sharing. So, just to give me one moment. It's opening, yes. Kalla, please do not unmute, okay? Because already the, we have network issues. So, you can make something like this. So what you will be doing is, after the class you will be downloading this uh, and uh, you have to create a beautiful picture or something you are going to decorate and you are going to show your creativity and you have to be taking a pic of that and you will be uploading it in Google Classroom. Yes, got it? Next is diamond shape. Yes. Next, we have different uh, 
Plaza. Yes. And the side of her there. You see, this is a small surprise and it is for this kind of plan. Yes. So I am going to change the color. Uh, another plan. So you can draw something like houses or something and you can decorate it on that. And the next kind of plan. Yes. See here we have put this. Before that, I'll just erase this. Okay. Kana, now you are doing this just to listen what we are doing. I think at last we will. Tell everything. If you are not a got it, okay? Yes. So now we are going to footsteps. See, with uh, that is a with the shoe print actually. So I click with that, and I'm going to take brown color. See, if you click one, it will come like this. If you drag it, see here. If you drag it, it will come back. Subramani 8875. Next one is footprint. What that is also, if you just click, it will come like this. But at the Uh, parent, uh, please make sure that we have not interrupt the class. Any queries can be put it in the chat box. We will be helping out with this. Because there are two pairing teachers here. One will take care of the class. Another one is being checking out the chat box. Please help us out because it's a recording session. And we don't want any interruption. Please check out that the child doesn't unmute themselves. Unless and until we ask them to unmute. Make sure it doesn't happen. Please. Next time, I hope uh, it will not happen. Otherwise, we must ask the host to send the child to lobby. So please make sure it doesn't the child doesn't unmute themselves. Thank you. Huh? If any queries, please put it in the chat box. We reply for it. Thank you. Huh? Yes, ma'am. You can continue. Yes, ma'am. So you see here. It will come like this. Okay, if you click once, two so legs will be coming like this. If you drag one by one, like walking, it will come like this. And let's move on to this pause. See, if you drag it, it will come like this. If you just click once, it will come like this. So I'm just going down. We have some more uh, brushes here. Yes? So just one more. Uh, I just erase this. And my page is full. I'm just going to erase this. Yeah. So, so this is the heart shape. So we very common this one. Let me move on to this one. See here. Flashing white. Paint. Next one. See this cat. If you click once, this chart, it will come like this. If you drag it, you just drag it in two different directions of the chart. Yes, can you see? Like it is jumping and it is moving. Right. Super mom. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, children. Yes. So, next one, in here we have this one, this one. You can make it like a nest. Or a web. I think you can make like that. It's under all your own creativity. Okay? And these are just very common. Let's move on to the, uh, this one. See here. You can make it like uh, uh, crackers on this side. Yes? 
decorated like that. So hope today by today is new. Get many creative drawing, many creative drawing in Google Classroom. Yes, see here, we like the ball. Got it? Next one we have, sir. If you want, you come like this. Target. This will be like a starfish. You grab it, it will come like that. Just this one, it will be like this. Next, this is a savior. On ice cream. So, the next, uh, these are just uh, shapes only. Next, like, this is some that come like this. See, here we have one. Okay, one moment, I'll just share it. Is this? Next to brush. Here we have one picture. If I click once, it will come like this. I drag. See, yes, squirrel. In different motions, right? If you just drag it, it will come. So next uh, star and a triangle are there. Now I'll just get it. See here we have this. I'll take brown color. See here. I think it will come up in green color. Uh, yes, we are getting green color. It's mixing with the green and brown. See, actually, I pressed yellow color, okay? And the dark uh, uh, brush is having actually just green color. So it is mixing, but yellow is mixing with green color, and I gave this color for it. So it's the last of the color. It's more next to tool that is stamp. So that I can erase this. Yeah. So here actually we have many what is birds and animals and many more. So Sangeeta ma'am is going to continue. If you are when you are downloading, if it is not there, I think you have to download with this and Yes, thank you so much, Savitri, ma'am. Yes, children. So, on the left hand side, you can see the tools box. Click on the uh, option stamp. When I click on that, you can see on the right hand side all different kinds of stamps over here. Yes, you have uh, creatures over here, birds over here, so many are there, right? Okay, so the first you can see some frogs are given, okay, yes, a frog will not uh, live in the white space, right? So can we give some blue color as a background? So I want to give a blue color for the background. So what I wanted, what I'm going to do is I'm going to the tools option and on to the tools option you can see a button called fill. Can you see there is a uh, picture like a uh, uh, with a bucket where the word colors are following click on to that option and under when you click, into, click on to that you can see the color options below 
so you can click on to the blue color okay once you click on to the blue color again click on to the workspace so yes so the workspace um, previously it was in the white page now it has turned into blue color wow very colorful right okay so now uh, on to the right hand so you, you can see that nothing is there right okay so what you should do again we should go back to the tools click on to the stamp option and when you click on to the stamp option you can see on to the right hand side all the creatures and birds over here so i have create i've completed my um workspace with blue color as i want to click on to my frog over here see on to the below stamp option there is a size options over here that is a minimize to maximize size let me start off with the minimize size okay i clicked on to the first minimize size and i clicked the first frog see how small it is now i'm increasing the size of the frog <laughs> see can you see so if you want to uh, increase the size also it's of your choice you can do it okay and yes so this is all about this time i'm talking <laughs> so but that is a background sound kanna see you know that uh, the frog will make that sound right that is what let me move on to a new page so i'm going to the tools option i'm clicking on to the new button and i want to take the background of a green color so i'm clicking on to that okay so when i click on to that it will ask me whether you want to save your picture the picture what we did previously you want to save it or not my uh, as you are more creative if you want to save you can give an option save otherwise ma'am doesn't want to save so i am saying no i am clicking on to the no button so it takes me to the home page again that is a workspace again with a green color home page okay now i can click on to the any of the bird options here yes so i'm clicking on to one bird okay i'm just uh, maximizing the size of the bird also <coughs> can you see see how however you want to maximize or minimize it's of your choice you can do it is it very interesting children yes so this is all about the stamp options let us uh, let us move on to the next option that is tools before that uh, let me go and use this eraser to erase all these things okay yes i've done it I've done it. I've completed. Okay. Now, yes. On to you already know. I was taught you about the eraser. On to the eraser, you have the size of the eraser also. On to the right hand side. So, however big you want, you can click on to this option that is eraser button, and you can use that option. Okay. Yes. Now we will move on to the lines. So lines. When I click on to the lines in the tools option, you can see so many different uh, lines are appearing. this are you already know right because uh, previous thing also these options are there it's nothing but according to the thickness you can see the lines are very uh, starting it is very thin then it becomes thicker and thicker right so this is what it's all about and it, the same tool is been appearing the first when we start this uh, touch paint whatever the brushes appeared it is the same you are given okay next is clicking on to the shapes option see when i click on to the shape, shape op options you can see so many different shapes are there square rectangle circle ellipse triangle pentagon rhombus octagon star okay yes first let me click on to the first one okay when i click on to the first one i want to give a different color so when i click on to that see the first one which i clicked here it just giving me the outline color this is giving me the outer color part alone of the shape let me click on to the next one see it is giving the color it is giving the inner part color okay so inner part alone has been colored can you see the difference let me move on to the next shape see outer part has been covered 
in a pattern to cover so this is what the difference here between these shapes so outline color you can give then in a part if you want to give a color you can give it according to the choice when you click on to the shapes button okay yes so let me erase all these to get a new home page workspace place okay next is nothing but the text column so yes text is nothing but whatever you want to write you can write it over here you can type it here i'll or something like that okay so whatever your creativity below that you want to give any naming or any sentence to be written you can write it with the, using this abc text column okay next to that you have a label okay it's nothing but it is nothing but you okay, can whatever creativity you are doing you will be giving a name according to your choice right firstly let me give a jungle or anything for us anything it's of your choice i'm just giving a park i'm just giving a example okay so this is all about the text part of uh, uh, text and labeling part okay so everything is completed here next you already know the filling part which i told you when you click on to the filling and when you click on to the color option again to the workspace your colors will be changed see your background color will be changed very nice right okay now i'm coming to magic part what is this my mom is using magic part okay before that let me go to the home page yes just give me a moment let me go to the okay now i'm taking the home page that is a white background okay no magic here that yes it is a play only it is uh, playing with your creativity it is all about playing with your creativity when i click on the option tool magic you can see on to the right hand side so many option blind see when i click on to the blind you can see so many wave like waves are coming appearing over here right next is blocks okay uh, then let me use the eraser to erase all these so that i can show you next uh, tools here over here next is bricks so it is like uh, you get you are getting the sound like uh, it's like a construction right it's like a construction noise it's appearing over there as a background right here okay so here you can see this bricks are very small and thin okay uh, if i click on to the next uh, option here you can see the size of the pixels are little bigger very nice right so these are the so many options over here okay it's of your choice you can use your own creativity and do it okay so many options are appearing in the magic column from b to z you have so many options okay yeah let me show you some for i just make you one uh, it's it's my own creativity let me try out that okay yes see into the um, g option you have an option called grass okay when i click on to that and i am clicking on to the green button over here that the green color okay and uh, so i'm just making a grassland over here fine then uh, uh, we uh, there's an option here flower i'm clicking on to that and it is of your choice of color mm -hmm. 
Okay, so there is an option of uh, rainbow also. So let us uh, draw some clouds here. So here is an option called dark cloud. Children from B to Z, you have so many options. If according to your choice of creativity, you can click on to any one and you can draw. See now, I'm going to draw clouds. Then you have an option called rain over here, which is in the R column. That is a rain. Okay. Then you have an option called rainbow here. It is nothing but a different color like this. Okay. There is one more option of another rainbow is here. So I am going to draw that color. I'm erasing this later. See. And there is an option called undo also. That I can when you click on to that you can take the previous thing. So some in some cases by mistake you might have erased right. And so you can click on to the option undo. So the previous whatever you have erased will appear. Okay. Yes. So. Uh, there's another option of a real rainbow. Try out that. See. Very nice, right? So, so, so many options are here. You can try out many. See, these are waves. Madam. Yes, sir. <laughs> So the when I use this waves column, this will appear like the screen will appear like this. Okay? Yes. So so many options are available in the magic column. Okay, you can uh, use these option and make your own creativity with all the tools available over here. Yes, uh, I'm just erasing this uh, part. So it's of your choice. You can make any of your things. Let me try out with another one. See, I'm just clicking on to the brushes part and click drawing the creases over here. Okay, I'm clicking on squirrel over here. So, so many options are here. You can try out that. Okay, yes. It's of your choice. You can make your own creativity. Yes, so however you want to make, you can make it of your choice. So beautiful tools are available with so many options, children. Yes, I hope you'll try this and I hope it was very interesting for you. I hope you people enjoyed. Yes, did you enjoy this tax paint? We'll have once again the recap of this tomorrow's class also. Uh, before that, try and download the uh, tax paint which is available in the Google Classroom. You can download it in your desktop or laptop. Uh, we are, uh, so far, I'm not aware about the uh, usage in the mobile phones. However, but kindly try out if you can. Try out, you uh, kindly download it in your mobile also if it is possible.
And yes, you can use all these tools available and the accent is very useful to show your own creativity. Yes, children? Okay. Yes, so it's time for you all to introduce yourself and say hi to mom and hi to me. Yes, sir? Um, what is the name of the